Nicholas Oizan and Juan Munoz are two Pokemon trainers who run a growing YouTube channel called Trainer Tips to help players master the game. They say it combines nostalgia with modern technology. We grew up in a generation that, that thrived on Pokemon. Since we were 10 years old, we've been playing this game. And now I feel like uh, we have the opportunity to live out an adventure that we've all kind of been wanting to have since we were 10. What's up guys? We're here in Hollywood again. What's up? We have an awesome opportunity that we just wanted to be able to share it with you guys. So join us and let's see what happens. Why is this game? This is an old game, right? It, well, Pokemon is an old franchise. But this game is brand new. Okay. So how does it work? A simple in simple terms, you're able to use the GPS location that your cell phone has. You physically walk around and while the Pokemon appear and you capture them. Are you kind of surprised by this? I'm not surprised just because uh, a lot of history has shown that people have passed away taking selfies or been hit by cars by staring at the phones while crossing the street. I wouldn't expect anything different. I would just hope people take the right precautions and use safety measures when playing this game. What's up guys? So as you guys saw, we just got interviewed by ABC7. It's pretty exciting and really interesting to see their take on what they wanted to ask us and the way that they really wanted the episode to go. But all we wanted to do was explain the actual format of the game and, and why we're all excited and why you guys at home should be excited too. Yeah, it seemed like their story is really more about uh, some of the negative aspects that we've seen in the press lately. You know, people not really paying attention when they're playing the game and running into stuff, getting hit by cars, whatever. And obviously, that's, that's the kind of headlines that sells, you know, that's what's going to get views. So we just really hope that we don't portray the game in too negative of a way. And you know, I mean, a lot of things that people are taking for granted is the, the, mi the missing piece, the Pokemon Go Plus device. It's a device that's going to help you not actually stay glued to your cell phone so that you can continue walking and enjoying your view while still being able to play. So it's, it, was, it, was, it felt good to be able to inform them that this isn't just a game that is going to keep us looking down, but looking up, I guess. So be smart, you guys. Stay alert. You know, just be aware of what you're doing while you're playing the game. Stay alert, be aware, and don't forget, I mean, just because this game is your own doesn't mean you shouldn't travel in groups. Me and Nick travel everywhere to play. You guys should too. Always have a buddy. You have a buddy system. Go out and play together. And uh, just don't forget to look up from the screen once in a while. You're going to all these new places, you're stopping at all these Pokestops, all these gyms. You know, some of them have really interesting stories, so make sure you take time to check that out. For example, we're at a Pokestop right now. Take a look at the mural. Boom. A lot of amazing musicians right here. And maybe some items too. That's right. Hey guys, it's late, it's nighttime. I'm out here at the park and I didn't get a whole lot of time to shoot today because I was pretty busy. So I'm gonna do some Q&A right now and I'm gonna show you a couple things related to gym battles. So let's start with the first question. What level do Great Balls and Ultra Balls unlock? You'll get Great Balls at level 12 and you'll unlock Ultra Balls at level 20. What are those pink leaves around a Pokestop? The pink leaves indicate that someone has used a lure module on the Pokestop. This is an item that you can buy in the shop, and you'll also get them as a reward for leveling up sometimes. What a lure module does is it works the same way as an incense, except instead of attracting Pokemon to you, it attracts them to the Pokestop, and those Pokemon are visible to every player in the area. Do you think the game will eventually have all the features that were stated in the first trailer, like friendly battles with a group of friends? All the features that are in the trailer will eventually be in the game. Right now, the only one we're really missing is trading. If you watch closely, you can see that the battles took place at gyms. In the trailer, they call them forts, but we know now that they're called gyms. So what you're seeing is a group of people attacking a gym where a group of trainers have already placed their Pokemon. Where did you pre-order your Pokemon Go Plus? We pre-ordered ours from Amazon, and we also pre-ordered one from Toys R Us. Currently, they're all sold out everywhere, but if you follow us on Twitter, at TrainerTips, T-R-N-R-T-I-P-S, we'll make sure to post as soon as we get word that they're available somewhere. How do you use the second move? You just tap and hold. It's easy. Okay, stop laughing, I'm, I'm losing time. Can you earn Pokecoins or do you buy them? If so, how can I earn them? You can earn them, and the way you do that is by leaving Pokemon at gyms, and you'll be able to collect a daily defender bonus. As a related question, what is the amount of coins for a defender bonus? I'll show you right now. To collect your defender bonus, you're gonna go to the shop, and this shield icon in the top right corner, you click on that, and it tells you, trainer has one Pokemon assigned. The reward for that is 500 Stardust and 10 coins. 
So for each Pokemon you have defending a gym, you'll earn 500 Stardust and 10 coins. The maximum is 10 Pokemon, so at most you can earn 5,000 Stardust and 100 coins per day. How do I use a specific Pokemon in gym battles? I can show you that too. Since the gym here at this park is already controlled by Team Instinct, it's going to be training rather than a battle, but it works the same way. So when you're looking at the gym, you'll hit the battle icon, and you'll see the list of Pokemon that automatically populates. If you just tap on one of the Pokemon, it'll pull up your whole list, and you can choose a different Pokemon that you want to use instead. So for this one, I'm going to use my Arcanine, and I'm actually going to show you something that you might not know. This gym has two Pokemon in it. The Marowak only has 487 CP. That's my Marowak. The Pidgeot has over 1,000. Currently, I don't have any Pokemon strong enough to beat that Pidgeot, but what you can do is beat the first Pokemon and then run from the battle when the second one starts. Oh, that was super effective. Oh, this is scary. Whew, I got it. Okay, so I beat the first Pokemon, and now that this Pidgeot's too strong, I'm just gonna run away. And even though I ran away, you'll see this, the gym still gained prestige, and I still gained XP for that. I know in yesterday's episode, I said that we would announce another winner for our shirt giveaway today, but I realized that since I uploaded the video late, it's only been up for a few hours, and you guys haven't had a lot of time to comment on it, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys have another day to comment, and in tomorrow's episode, we'll choose a winner for that one. And then for our third shirt giveaway, we're going to do it on Twitter, so make sure you're following us, at TrainerTips, T-R-N-R-T-I-P-S. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. It was a short one, but I hope it was helpful and informative. As always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're uploading daily, and we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, I see you, though. Do you see me? I see I see you back there. I just... Oh, we I just, win. We did it. Okay. There we go. Before... Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's neutral. Before, I'm taking it. No, I'm taking what? it. Well, how I'm can you do it. that? I'm taking it.